Hi everyone, welcome to Anjurisa channel. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to sew this beautiful scrunchie headband with a cute bow. I use cotton fabric for this headband as this is the easiest fabric to sew. This is for the elastic piece at the back of the headband. Fold the fabric in half and sew along the fabric with regular stitch. After sewing, it's time to turn the fabric right side out. I use a loop turner and it's very convenient. Just slide the loop turner inside and hook the fabric from the other end. If you don't have a loop turner, you can use a safety pin by pinning it to the fabric and pushing the safety pin to the other end. Now prepare an elastic band and you can use any size as long as it fits into the fabric. Again, I'm using a loop turner to insert the elastic band. If you don't have this loop turner, just use a safety pin. This loop turner is my favorite tool because it saves a lot of time. If you love making headbands, consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. Feel free to check out my other videos and make your own headbands. Make sure that the elastic band isn't twisted and secure the elastic by sewing both ends. I always use 90 14 needle for sewing cotton fabric. Let's put the elastic piece aside. Prepare another fabric for our headband. You can modify the size. Maybe you want to use a shorter or longer fabric, it's really up to you. Whatever you want for your headband. Since this headband is made using only regular stitch, you can also sew it by hand. Turn the fabric right side out. Yes, making a headband requires a lot of turning the fabric. Next, prepare the ironing board. Pressing fabric is important when you want to make a scrunchy pattern. I'm telling you, pressing is the key to professional looking stuff. Make sure to press the fabric so the seam is in the middle. Cut the fabric about 7 inches. This is for the bow. Put this piece aside. Next, let's do two basting stitch right in the middle. Basting stitch is a loose temporary stitch to hold our fabric. To make a basting stitch, use the longer stitch on our sewing machine. As you can see, I used the seam as the guide for the basting stitch. But don't worry if your line isn't perfectly straight, it's still going to look right. Remember to leave the tails on both ends as we will gather the fabric to make the scrunchy pattern. Now here's the fun part. All we have to do is pull the bottom thread to make the scrunchy pattern. Be extra careful when you gather the fabric. I mean pulling the thread as you can start to see the beautiful scrunchy pattern here. Keep pulling the thread. And if it starts to get difficult to pull, it's time to gather from the other side. Take the previous fabric that we cut to make the bow with the wrong sides together. Sew the fabric. Place the bow in the middle of our scrunchy piece. And sew both pieces together. I left more sewing thread longer and put a needle at the end to secure the bow later. Fold it back and forth to make the bow pattern. Wrap the bow with excess thread. Then secure the bow by tucking the thread inside. Prepare fabric for the center bow. Fold it in half and sew this part. After this, turn the fabric right side out. To make a beautiful center, fold the fabric randomly. I like to fold it like this, but you can always make adjustments. You can tell that it looks pretty good. Wrap the bow and sew this part. Cut off the excess fabric and turn the center bow. It's time to finish the headband by attaching the elastic piece we made at the beginning. With the wrong side facing up, put it on the headband, fold the fabric, and pin it. English isn't my primary language. Please let me know in the comments if you prefer my tutorial with or without a voiceover. To be honest, of course, a tutorial without voiceover is easier to make. So please let me know in the comments. Sew this part one last time. Finally! Be sure to backstitch to secure the basting stitch and the fabric at the same time. Cut the excess fabric. 
turn it over and our beautiful headband is finished. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'll see you next time.